Alright, I'm going to do a video today about shoelaces because my shoelaces are frequently untied because I have shoelaces that are far too long for my actual shoes and I don't have the time to go get new ones. But, um, I'm going to do this here and I'm just going to ask you all, like, how do you ever possibly trip on shoelaces? Because if you think about it, look at how they are right now, right? Okay? So let's say, like, I step on my shoelace, right? Okay, I'm stepping on it. Well, if I'm moving forward and I'm lifting my foot up, obviously I'm not going to trip on the shoelaces that are already on the same foot. You know, you, you can't do that. It's like, if your foot's on them and you lift them up, how are you going to trip on your own shoelaces? So then people might say, well, what about your shoelaces that are on the other foot? Like, let's say you step on them with the other foot. Okay, well, here's the problem with that, is when you're moving forward, your shoelaces are moving forward with you, see? See how they're like behind my foot, etc. So that's going to always happen. They're always going to be behind your foot. Now, if you're stepping and so forth, and you've got this foot moving forward, and then you move your right foot forward. Now your left foot can't magically be stepping on these shoelaces that are behind the foot because your left foot's already down. So your left foot would have to move forward to step on your shoelaces on your right foot to somehow keep those pinned down and prevent your right foot from moving. But if your shoelaces always move behind your foot and the only way that you'd be able to step on your shoelaces of your right foot is with your left foot, but your right foot is going to be either in front and not in motion, or in back and not in motion and so forth. I mean, you get what I'm saying here, like, there's there's no way for you to really trip on your shoelaces that I can see of, so, me personally, I've never tripped on my shoelaces. So I'm kind of wondering if this is like something like we learn, you know, like, I don't know, in kindergarten or something like that, when we have poor motor control, and we use this as an excuse for why we trip and fall and so forth, and then like we just remember it in the you know, old age and we don't actually ever trip on our shoelaces? Or have any of you ever actually tripped on your shoelaces out there? And if so, I'm kind of wondering how, because I mean, the only really way I could think of would be like if you're like doing football training and you're like moving to the right or something and then you do it, but why would you even be wearing sneakers like this in football training? You'd have like cleats on, right? or something else that could really grip the ground that wouldn't have this kind of a problem. And even then, you know, that's such a rare form of movement, and most people talk about it like this. Like, how, how are you going to, you know? Like, I mean, maybe if you do, like, little tiny steps like this, and you, like, you know, like, somehow step on your shoelaces then, like, I'm not, like, you know, maybe if you do like that or something, but who the hell walks like that? Like, I, I don't know. Anyways, I just thought this was really weird, so... Because people always tell me, tie your shoelaces, you're going to trip, you're going to trip, but I don't know how you could even possibly trip. I don't understand that. And I never have, so... Anyways, let me know what you think about that. I just filmed this outside of, like, a grocery store parking lot, and there's probably people thinking I'm a complete nut job, but that's okay. They're probably right, so, yep. Yeah.